What is up, YouTube? As you can see, I just caught the new crib. I got a pool in the backyard. I got a lovely living room. No, honestly, this place is amazing, but yeah, I definitely cannot afford this place because I am poor. Anyways, yesterday I was gonna film a shopping vlog. I know it's never been done before. I'm sorry I couldn't give it to you guys. As you guys know, I'm here trying to pioneer the vlog shopping experience or genre on YouTube. I was gonna go shopping on Melrose and Fairfax, places that no one has ever explored. However, that being said, I was just in a really shitty mood yesterday. I was really pissed off. You guys follow me on Instagram. You guys probably know why. So I decided not to film because I just knew my energy was shit. I did film some B-roll from different shops and I'll show you guys that when I actually do the unboxing boxing portion of this video. I actually got a lot of sick shit and what's really cool is I really didn't pay for a lot of it because I have a lot of connects. And whenever I make videos, I have to think of two things. The first thing I have to think of is content and whether or not the content or the item will actually be worth it. For example, if the item will go up in value in the future or if the content will pay for the item. And the second thing is actually basically still the first thing. It's all about content. I just need to think of whether the ad revenue from the video will pay for the item. I make sure I don't lose money when I buy clothes. I know a lot of people get that confused, but just so you guys understand, YouTube is still a business for me. I love buying clothes and I'm honored that this can be a business, but this is how I provide for my family. Anyways, right now I have to go to Supreme because I do have a spot in line. And first, before I go there, I gotta meet up with my dear friend. Not Kais, it was supposed to be Kais, however, uh, I've been really busy this morning. I did link up with Kais at the Supreme store, actually. I'm so now, Memphis bitch, I still ride with the strap. Point that bitch in your direction, watch how fast you gonna lap. I'm so now, Memphis bitch, I promise I ain't had no sleep. I've been grinding over time to make sure all my niggas eat. And then right when that was done, we had to go take some pictures with the bear and a bunch of other things. Of course, if you do not follow me on Instagram, I actually got like three different photos. One with an unreleased Supreme item. So make sure you go follow me on Instagram if you do not already. That picture, I believe I am posting tomorrow. Anyways, I have to drop off my rental car and then go to the airport. Yo, I have so much stuff to discuss. Now, I will say, before we get started, uh, I'm pretty lucky. The majority of the stuff I did get for free. None of this is sponsored. None of these individuals asked me to make a video. In fact, some of these individuals aren't even from the brands that I'm showing off. For example, I got some Born and Raised 424 stuff. However, I got that due to my connect at Barney's. And then also, I got hooked up from Bodega from my friend who styles for Bodega. But it wasn't like a, hey, I'll give you clothes and you shout out. He just genuinely hooked me up because I used to sleep on his couch and I've been friends with him for quite some time before he ever moved to LA. If there was any sponsor in in this video, I'd probably say StockX just because StockX paid for one of the pieces that I'll be showing off. However, it did not come from StockX. That being said, I still think you should use StockX and honestly, if you have the time to wait, I honestly needed this for a picture so I didn't have the time to get it shipped. But if you have the time to wait, StockX is the best platform. I'm telling you, I shopped for this item all throughout Melrose and none of the prices were cheaper than StockX. So definitely check out StockX in the description down below. And also in the description, I will leave a link to all the items that I discussed today. The first pieces that I wanna discuss are the Born and Raised 424 collection. Now I'm not quite sure if you can get these things online or not. I heard a rumor that they are online. I saw some people post on Instagram. However, as far as I know, these are pop-up exclusives. If so, I'll be really bummed because there were only certain things that I could get at Barney's and they were limited when it comes to sizing. And they are missing a ton of things. Like for example, they're missing these really cool denim that have 424 BXR printed on the front of them and I basically what I heard from someone I talked to is that they were live prints at the pop-up which really pisses me off because I had to come home early well not early but I just didn't know that was a pop-up date and I already booked my flights it's just why me anyways if you guys have been following the channel for quite some time you guys know Born and Race is a brand that I genuinely love I've been putting on for them for years and I just love that brand I just think that it's one of the only brands that in my opinion in the streetwear community is actually truly authentic to what they represent and that's very, very rare, especially these days in streetwear. Now, if you follow Born and Raised, they have previewed one of the pieces for quite some time. However, one of the pieces they have not previewed is this right here. It has BXR. These are all Chanel letters stitched in. And then on the hood right here, it has 424 embroidered. And this is kind of more of like a collegiate letter 
like a block font. And one thing that I really like about Born and Raised to keep in mind is that when they sew in on the hood right here, normally embroidery has a backing. So what they have to do in order to actually embroider this hood, first they embroider the fabric and then after that they sew the hood together and it just makes it a lot more difficult and that's one of the reasons why Born and Raised is able to do that because they actually use their own custom cut and sew hoodies. If I was to compare their hoodies, it's kind of hard because I really like the fit of their hoodies, but I would say it's somewhat close to Champion Reverse Weave but with a little bit better of a fit or a little bit more like street style fit. This also comes in a pink or like mauve color right here. Once again, it has the BXR sewn in and then 424 on the hood. Now, the piece that was previewed quite some time was this right here. This has 424. It has the little rocker right here and then it has Born and Raised on the hood as well. Now, one thing that I think is cool about this that I did not know is that this is actually like a cream embroidery instead of an all white embroidery. And that's not a huge difference, but when you see it in person, it just honestly looks a lot nicer. Sadly, this isn't an XL, so it's a little bit big, but it was the only size that my friend could get me. And then just like they have the black with the cream embroidery, they also have the cream with the black embroidery. So once again, you have 424 stitched on the front and then born and raised stitched in or embroidered on the hook. Now, another piece I was able to get while I was at the Barney's was this right here. This is a born and raised track jacket. This is a collaboration they did with Adaption. I have these pants. It's a little crazy, a little out there. However, I love this pattern. And I really like a lot of the born and raised collages. They do this sometimes on their button ups and other garments. And I just think overall, they kill it when it comes to creating collages. I really, really like the look as a button up. As a track jacket, it's a little bit harder to pull off. I probably wouldn't wear the whole suit, but it's still something really cool to have in the collection. And I'm really interested to see how I can style this piece. I know I always reference Sanj because Sanj is like an inspiration to me and I'll talk about him in a little bit, but I would really like to see how he would style something like this as well. Now, originally when I was talking about making this video, I was gonna make a video of me shopping in LA and I was gonna just vlog the whole experience. And I got that idea because I stopped by Bodega. And when I first entered Bodega, it was such a unique experience. You walk through what looks to be like some sort of loading dock and you walk through these like big plastic hangers like you're either walking into Dexter's murder room or freaking some like produce loading dock which is what it's supposed to be. You keep walking and then to the left you see more of those plastic little things dangling from the doorway and you walk through and you're in this really cool unique clothing store and I really like concept stores like that. It kind of reminds me of Apartment 4B. Apartment 4B is a lot smaller but I just think that it's kind of cool how they have this concept and it's kind of like a little piece from the east coast moved from over there and then transplanted over here on the west coast. It's just a really awesome vibe. You walk in, you see all the shoes, you see this little like bodega, they have this little art installation that seems somewhat inspired by Slayer since it does have a little reference to South of Heaven. Then you walk upstairs and then as you walk upstairs there's this kind of middle floor that seems somewhat unused and I'm kind of curious what they will use that for in the future and then you walk up to the third floor and you have all the clothes. You have tons of different brands. You have their in-house brand which I think is really good. You have Carhartt Work in Progress. You have have freaking pleasures, you have all these different streetwear brands, Stone Island, like all these different brands that you could possibly imagine under one roof and it's really unique. The people that work there are super cool, definitely amazing, however they are not that good at ping pong. Of course you guys know they had a ping pong table there so your boy had to wreck some kids. When I first walked in I was actually shooting some b-roll and then to the right I hear someone say my name and I just hear like a Jacob. So I look to the right and I see my friend Storm and I didn't even know he was working with Bodega actually and so it was kind of cool to see him because I, like I said when I used to work at Estate which is a Seattle clothing store and one that's reopening soon I would work the weekend so I would just stay at his house on his couch for the weekend so that way I didn't have to commute from Tacoma to Seattle. Really good dude however of course I had to beat him in ping pong and then once I beat him I'm a shit talker right so I start talking my shit I let them know like yo you got any other employees that want to catch these hands? He then references me to one of his dear friends that he thought would stand up against the ping pong champion, but you know there was no hope. I wrecked him too. Bro, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for talking shit because you are really good, but you had to catch the hands. You know you didn't want to see me on the sticks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't want to talk too much shit. No, honestly, it was a really cool experience getting to meet everyone and just chop it up. It was really like friendly and homely and I just really liked their vibe. That being said, I got a couple things. I got this Carhartt Work in Progress crew neck right here. As you can see, it says Carhartt Work in Progress. This is all embroidered or all stitched in. Really, really nice. I like this little ARC logo lettering and I kind of like this because it has this kind of like university or uni, whatever people in Europe call university. Um, college type font and style. However, it's just representing obviously workwear, Carhartt, something that here in the Northwest is somewhat sought after and valued. The clothes on the couch are honestly starting to pile up. However, one thing I will say about Bodega that's really interesting is their in-house brand is so affordable and such good quality, I really don't know how they sell any other brands. And the reason for that is because you would think they would make their in-house brand like a competitor for the other brands they carry, but they carry just such a large selection of stuff from cheap stuff to more expensive stuff. It kind of reminds me a lot like Kith, if 
if I'm being honest, but except like a little bit more of an East Coast vibe, which is weird saying since Kith is also from the East Coast. But their in-house brand is amazing quality. As you can see, I got these bodega sweats. It has a little Chanel B right there stitched in. A lot of like collegiate inspired pieces today. But anyways, you have all of this embroidered as well as this bodega right there. And then of course, you know, your boy had to get the matching hoodie. Now this hoodie is amazing quality, I will say. You got the little side uh, ribbing right here, elasticized right there. You have the same exact graphic that you have on the sweats right on the center of this chesticle or breasts. And uh, yeah, it's a nice hoodie, man. I really, really am impressed with the quality of this. I'm not quite sure what the price was, but I remember looking at one of the other hoodies that had a huge embroidery. And it was like $70. Like it was really, really affordable for what it is. Also, these sweats, really nice. I'm kind of surprised because they have zipper pockets. And I know you're thinking like, yo, zipper pockets, a lot of sweats have zipper pockets. But these are like, Champion Reverse Weave with zipper pockets. Like, they're really nice. And I'm pretty sure they're about the same price as Champion Reverse Weave. I would even say that the fit is somewhat similar. So I don't know how they added all that extra stuff. It's like they made Champion Reverse Weave, but better for the same price. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot to shout out what I'm currently wearing, because these are all new items as well. This right here is the Union Born and Raised collaboration that they did for ComplexCon. I sadly took an L on these at ComplexCon, because I was doing some work with PacSun and other brands, such as Cadillac, for example. However, I was able to get this in LA. Also, my man Bougie Mane right here dropped these fire shorts. Well, sorry, he didn't drop these, but these shorts are super sick. I love these shorts. The quality is amazing. I almost died jumping on that chair, but anyways, um, yeah, if you guys want to go bother him to drop these, then make sure you check him out on Instagram. I'll leave his Instagram somewhere on the screen, and I'll leave links and under the link for these shorts. I'll put a link saying, like, these shorts, and it'll go to his Instagram, so you guys have to go harass him if you want him to drop these. The embroidery in these is so sick. I love the graphic. I just think he killed these. I really, really hope he does an online release. If he does an online release, I'll keep you guys updated. This is his brand, Red Zone, dropping some fire shit. I have a shirt and I have these shorts as well, so definitely stay on the lookout for Red Zone. Anyways, last but not least, we hit Melrose. I know no one has ever shopped on Melrose. Shocker, I actually went shopping on Melrose. Melrose, anyways, and uh, this right here is one of the items that I use the StockX funds for. This is a sick piece right here, as you can see, Supreme, Medium. It's just a crew neck. These aren't anything crazy. You guys know how I feel about crew necks. Sorry, not crew necks. I love crew necks. I think box logos are way over the top, way overrated, way overhyped. However, I will say, the reason I wanted to show this off in the video is because if you guys are thinking about buying, now is the time to buy. Like, look at some of the prices on StockX. They are the cheapest they have ever been. And if you look at all the resale predictions, everyone's predicting $800 to $1,000. Now the reason that the resale is low is because right now everyone's undercutting. But if you look at the amount of sales, they have a good amount of sales. So as these sale more and more, the price will continue to go up. So definitely keep that in mind if you are considering purchasing any box logos, make sure you check out StockX, which like I said, will be linked in the description below. I ended up buying this from Cool Kicks because I needed it for a picture. And if you need the BOGO same day, obviously like I did, then yeah, you're gonna wanna go there. They have a bunch of other good deals. And I will say that I know some of the people that have legit checked for them. And I, I, I think that they're a good solid store to buy from and that you don't have to be too worried when you buy merchandise from them. But for people like me, there's no place like that in Washington or even all over the world. So I would definitely recommend checking out StockX, like I said. But anyways, when I walked in to actually get this piece, I saw someone that you guys may watch. His name is Stop Cart. All right, man, we are currently in Cool Kicks, right? Sorry, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I can get this box logo, but we found my man Stop Carts right here, you know what I'm saying? Go Cart, Stop Carts, you know what I'm saying? Is what it is. He was uh, the lower bracket of the Best Chess YouTubers. His channel actually got deleted, so make sure you go check it out. I'm gonna leave a link down in the comments below, description below, whatever. But check him out, man. Dude's fly, you know? Yeah, yeah. Much love, bro. Appreciate you. So, I was talking to him, and I didn't remember like too much from his channel. I've only seen a handful of videos. Uh, he was a smaller YouTuber, but he was in the BDY Awards that a lot of us were in, but he was in the lower tier, I think, with TJR. And YouTube deleted his channel, so I'm gonna leave a link to his channel down in the description below. If you guys wanna support someone who actually has a really sick style, I think that he has something different to offer. I haven't seen a lot of his videos, but I've seen some of his videos around golf, and he's kind of even inspired me or made me want to do videos between him and Sleepy. I like golf a lot, I just don't really talk about them on this channel because I don't know how they do in terms of views, but I do think that I like his kind of unique take on things. So hopefully you guys go subscribe to him, go support him, because obviously I don't want, I, I just want to, I don't want to see some creator like put all that work in, get 20, 30,000 subs, and then get their channel lead. That sucks, dude. So yeah, I got the box logo. I got the picture for my Instagram, which if you guys don't follow, change your life, go follow. That's the picture that I took right there. And then last but not least, we stopped by round two. Now in round two, I wanted to get that Murakami pillow, but I'm broke and like, I didn't really spend that much money. I know I got a lot of stuff, but I didn't really spend much money on this video. But one of the items that I had to purchase, 
I have no connect at round two because Sean Witherspoon does not fuck with me. I'm pretty sure he actually hates me. That being said, I still, when I saw this item, I had to pick it up. This right here is a North Face Steep Tech jacket. It's actually a women's jacket. It's a size XL. However, it does fit. It fits a little bit short, but honestly, I do not care. I needed this piece in the collection. It's absolutely gorgeous. You have the North Face embroidery on the back right there. You have this like buckle going all the way around that has the North Face branding. And then you have these little things like a uh, little tactical holders that you can actually store stuff in or store like, you know, like clip bags on. And that has the North Face branding as well. Tons of pockets. It's a part of the Steep Tech series, which is a series started for skiers and basically like mountain professionals that are going to be braving the mountain wilderness. But uh, yeah, they're meant to be durable jackets. They're really nice quality and I just had to pick this one up. It's definitely one of the more unique North Faces that I have seen. And then last but not least, as you guys saw, I did fly back into Seattle, Washington and I just had to show this off. This is not a piece that is really an LA pickup, but I had to show it off because honestly, I just thought this was so cool. I didn't even plan on showing this off until I saw this little feature that they have. But basically this right here is a rain jacket, right? As you can see, it's a little raincoat, which is perfect for Washington. It's from ETC, which is a really awesome brand in the Pacific Northwest, specifically in Tacoma. And if you look right here, you can tuck these little uh, sleeves in. And on the back, you can't see it right here, but on the back, it has this little strap that hangs down. And you can actually unbuckle this and put it over your shoulder as a messenger bag. So that way you still have access to these pockets. I thought that was really cool. It was a really unique touch. And it's kind of cool to see in streetwear. It reminds me of the old Rick Owens bomber from way back in the day. And when I saw that, I had to give them a little shout out because I just appreciate and respect little touches like that. But anyways, what do you guys think of the pickup video thus far? Wait, I almost forgot. I'm gonna show this off in a low key brand unboxing. But speaking of Sanj, he actually made this as well. I just think it looks so good with this little necklace that I got. And I just think overall, I really appreciate him getting my jewelry game right. He also showed me where to buy this ring and where to buy this ring, which is from this uh, company in London that makes all their silver. And I bought these a while ago. I just haven't really worn this one in a video, but yeah, huge shout to Sanj. Honestly, bro, I really, really appreciate it. The fact that you even like, I don't know, dude. Obviously, I look up to you and your style, and I just think that you're a really dope individual, so I really appreciate the fact that you actually sent this to me. I do not know if there are any of these left, but just like everything else that I showed off in this video, I will leave links to everything down in the description below. So go check those links out. Thank you so much. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living the star life. Peace the fuck out.